Hello, guys. Good evening. Hey, good evening, teacher. How are you? Doing great. Thank you very much for being here. How was your day, teacher? Excellent. Another day in the office. What about you guys? How was your day? Uh, another day in paradise. Another day in paradise. There we go. All right. Fantastic. So thank you, Rick, Marcelo, and Julia for being here. Welcome to the Office Corporativo Advance 3. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and let's rock it. All right. Another day in the office. There you have in the chat. All right, guys. So today we're going to be working a lot with um, wishes and regrets. What comes to your mind when you hear the word wish? Anybody? Things that you want. All right. Things you want. Mm -hmm. For example, I want, uh, I want to sleep. Is that a wish? <laughs> or let's say I want to be... Maybe. Maybe. If you, if you have... The desire. <laughs> the desire, right. And uh, if I tell you I, I want to be a millionaire, not the television show, right? Right. Is that a wish? Yeah, it's a wish. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is a wish. And what comes to your mind when you hear the word regret? Mm -hmm. I don't know that. Regret. It's in the chat. Regret. Mm. I don't know. Regret. Mm -hmm. Mm, maybe when you have uh, bad news, uh, when you what have... a regret. Uh, you kind of have the idea as far as the fact that it's a, it's a negative thing, all right? A regret is something negative. It's, for example, something that you should have done but you didn't, okay? Or the opposite, right? You shouldn't, you shouldn't have done it and you did it. Okay. So, is regret something in the future or in the past? In the past. Mm -hmm. In the past. Right. So, guys, that's what we're going to be doing today. As you know, we try to cover the the grammar part, and after that, we're going to go to the practice part, speaking. So, read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Uh -huh. uh, let me see, Marcelo, could you say it, please? Lesson objective. By the, by the end of this session, participants will be able to practice using language to express wishes and regrets. 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 Uh -huh. Say it with me, please. Regrets. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. So... Let's go ahead and keep on with the grammar part. It's a four-minute video that we're going to watch, okay? Do me a favor, please. Mute your microphones. Okay. List. Oh, just one moment. Let me go back because I have already watched the video and I left it at the end. Are, are you ready to? Somehow it's getting stuck. Let me just. Are you? One moment, please. Let me try to fix this. All right. Just one second. All right, guys. Give me just a moment. 
I'm having technical difficulties. Let me try to fix it. And I'll be right back with you in a minute, all right? All right, guys, for those who just arrived, I'm having some issues with the video. If we cannot play the video, then we're gonna do something else. So give me just a second. Let's go ahead and try again. There we go. Are you ready to express wishes and regrets? Remember, we can wish about the present and the future, and we regret about the past. Wishes and regrets. For wishes about the present and future, wish plus past simple, or past continuous, or could, or would plus verb. I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion. I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. For regrets about the past, use wish plus past perfect. I wish I'd taken a few Spanish classes. I wish I had given my parents such a hard time when I was growing up. For regrets about the past, use if plus past perfect and could or would have plus past participle. If I had stuck with something, I could have gotten good at it. For strong wishes about the present or future, or for strong regrets about the past, use if only. If only clauses are often used without a main clause. If only my boss would consider promoting me. In English, there are different ways to express wishes in the present and in the future. We may use wish plus past simple, wish plus past continuous, wish plus could plus a verb, or wish plus would plus verb. We use wish plus past simple to express that we want a situation in the present or future to be different. Example, I wish I spoke English. I don't speak English. I wish I had a big car. I don't have a big car. I wish I were on a beach. I am in the office. Future, I wish it were the weekend tomorrow. It's only two. All right, so we're going to stop it right here, guys, because I want to ask you something. How do you say... Yo deseara hablar inglés. Anybody? Anybody? I, I, wish, I, I wish, wish I speak English. There you go. It's going to be this one, guys. I wish I, I spoke English. Spoke English. Okay. So, in order for us to express a wish about the present or about the future, we're going to use wish plus past, past, uh, simple past. past. Okay, so hey, uh, let me ask you, Julia, do you have a big car? I wish I had a big car. Okay, so do you have a car right now? Uh, no. No? Okay, so that would be I don't have a big car either. So you can say, I wish I had a big car. Okay, so we are using it in the present. Me gustaría tener un vehículo grande. All right? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién quisiera estar en la playa? 
Me. <laughs> me. There you go. Exactly. Freddy raising the hand. Fantastic. So how do you say me gustaría estar en la playa? O en una playa? I wish I were on a beach. 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 Correct. On a beach or beach? Beach. Beach. Mm -hmm. beach. 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 Okay. You have to extend beach. the sound. Beach. Beach. All right. Give me, beach. Give me a second. Tuesday tomorrow. Don't go, don't go, don't go. All right, there we go. So, guys, how do you say, me gustaría, me gustaría ser mejor persona? I wish I be Bye. better person. I wish I were a better person. I wish I were a better person. I wish I... I want... Okay, so guys, this one we're gonna use wish plus simple past. Okay, in order for you to talk about things that you wish right now, cosas que nosotros deseamos ahorita. Maribel, tell me one of your wishes. For example, I wish to pay my. I'm sorry, I wish I paid my debt. How do you say? Yo quisiera pagar mis deudas. Sí. I wish I paid pay. my debt. Credit card. My bill. <laughs> my bills. My debt. Bill. What? My debt. It's in the chat. My debt. Oh. I wish I paid my debt. Uh, guys, how do you say me gustaría hablar italiano? I wish I spoke I wish Italian. I spoke Italian. Uh -huh. I spoke Italian. Okay. So, pretty much, guys, what you're going to do here is you're going to say, I wish plus simple past. Okay. How do you say, um, me gustaría en vivir en una gran casa, en una casa grande? I wish I live in a big house. I wish I live. I lived in a, in big, a big house. House. It's on the chat. Very good. So if you notice, guys, I wish plus past. How do you say Ricardo desearía ser más alto? I don't know how tall you are, Ricardo. I'm just using as an example. Ricardo. Ricardo wish or wishes. Wishes. Wishes, right? Because wishes. Not third person. Third person, correct. Wishes. Yeah. And then? Wishes. The king is the Who are we talking about? He was. He were. You were more taller. Taller. taller you were, you were now, taller. The difference that I want you to pay attention here, guys, is that when you are using past, you use the verb in past, right? Mm -hmm. All the time. But whenever you're using the verb to be, you're always going to use where. Why? <laughs> Rule. That's it. So... I wear, he wear, mm. here we do not. It doesn't have. matter the person. Exactly. Why? Mm -hmm. an idea? Because you are already using third person here. Mm -hmm. so. I, I was confusing because uh, I, I saw, uh, I wish I were. Mm -hmm. So for me, the correct was, I wish I was. <laughs> exactly. And again, why? Okay. Because subject. Verb and this is part of the complement. It always goes like this, and with conditional. With conditionals, we're always gonna use um, he wa he wear, she wear, it wear. Okay. If you listen to rap music, for example, they always say I was, I wish I was, but that's more for art instead of grammar. Okay. All right, so very good. <clears throat> How do you say, 
Mm. El Salvador. I don't have any Salvador right here, right? No Salvadores? Mm. No. no. Salvador, no. Salvador quisiera ser más inteligente. Salvador, Salvador wishes, wishes. wishes. Mm -hmm. he were, he were more, more smart, more, more smart. smart or smarter, smarter. smarter. Oh, smarter. smarter, smarter, smarter. Very good. Remember, guys, whenever we using comparatives or superlatives, one syllable, smart, smarter. We add er. Three syllables or more, like important, more important. Okay, we right? can, but one of uh -huh. the syllables we had, yeah. We can say more intelligent. We have to say more intelligent. So, for example, Shahira, we don't have any Shahira here. Shahira uh -huh. wishes she were more intelligent. Got it? All right, very good. Maribel. Uh -huh. I, sorry, are you writing something in the chat? Not right now, I already did. Uh, I don't know why I, but uh, you, you did it. Yes, Shahira wishes. I, I can't see anything in the chat. Yes, I can't can see anything. And can you see it in front of you right now? Yeah, nothing. Mm. Yes, but they chat the group of the Zoom, but there's nothing here. Okay. In the meantime, let's keep it no here, okay? Let's keep it here. So, any questions with the use of I wish, guys? Because we have more to do. Do you have any questions about the use of I wish? Speak now or be quiet. No, yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's go with the Vistimas right now. Ready? Sorry? Ready. Yeah? How do you okay. say... Yo quisiera tener una, una moto. I wish I had a motorcycle. Very good. Fantastic. Maribel, how do you say <laughs> yo quisiera ser millonario? I wish I were, uh, I were rich. <laughs> rich? I were rich. Mi, mi, no, no sé. Millonario. Millionaire. 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 It's on the chat. Fantastic. Julia, how do you say, yo quisiera estar en, yo quisiera estar en Apulo? I wish I were in Apulo. Very good. Ricardo, how do you say, yo quisiera, yo quisiera viajar a Europa? I wish uh, I were in Europe. Viajar. Ah, oh, viajar. Yeah. I wish I I wish I travel to Europe. Europe. Mm -hmm. Europe. Very good. So careful with the pronunciation. Wish. Say it with me, please. Wish. 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 If we say which with C H, it's like qual. Which one? Uh -huh. right? So uh -huh. right. Let's go ahead and pronounce it with me. Wish. 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 I wish. wish. But wish. do it the same way. Exaggerate the way I'm doing. Wish. 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 Very good. Now explore it. Which? 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 How do you say cuál? Which? 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 Uh -huh. Like when you go downtown to El Bajemes or El Agachón. Querer, amor. Right? Which? <laughs> Very good. All right, so, um, Evelyn, what do you say? Which? Me gustaría tener un pastor alemán. Which? Which? I wish I had a, I don't know how to say pastor alemán. <laughs> German, German shepherd. German. A German shepherd. German shepherd. It's in the chat, by the way, here. Fantastic. Marcelo, how do you say, um, me gustaría comerme una entera? Eat what? Me gustaría comerme una pizza entera. 
I wish I ate. Ah, I, I no. Ate. I I I forget the. Don't worry, it's in the chat. And in the I didn't see the chat. We can uh, share. We can. We can. We can. I right. can't. An entire pizza. I, I wish uh, the puzzle eight <laughs> to an uh, entire pizza. Very good. Guys, if you cannot see the chat, because I know you're recording it, right? If you cannot see the chat, use the one that you have in front of you. In time. Okay? Si no pueden ver el chat, veamos la pantalla. Que ahí está el chat que yo estoy ocupando. Okay? Very good. Um, so, Marcelo, good job. Just make sure remember... Pay attention to the pronunciation a little bit. Wish. Wish. Exactly. And Lourdes, last but not least, how do you mm -hmm. say, desearía, vamos a poner un poquito más yuca para que los demás le ayuden. Desearía que el teacher no me hubiera preguntado. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, uh, I wish, the the teacher, teacher. Yes, I wish the teacher in the past. Uh -huh. That did, didn't ask me. There you go. I wish the teacher didn't ask me. Good job, good job. Good job, Lourdes. I wish you didn't ask me. All right, guys. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the breakout rooms and you're going to share your wishes. Okay? I want okay. to make this personal. Go ahead and share your wishes and try everybody to talk. Okay? There we go. So you got three minutes, guys. I'm opening the, the rooms right now. Three minutes. Talk about your wishes. Accept the invite, please. There you go. Invite sent. Oh, let me see. No, I don't want Lord to be alone. There we go. All right, accept the invite. Hi, where are my other classmates? <laughs> hey, hello. Um, in the breakout rooms, you're supposed to get an invite right now. Who am I uh, speaking with? Evelyn or Lourdes? Lourdes. Lourdes. But I am along with you. Yep, yep. yep. But I already sent the invite. Check on your screen. Yeah, I accepted and then uh, it, it appeared another, another dialogue box that say that I, I were all right let me let me check then give me just a second because you're not supposed to be here neither neither am i i'm closing all of the groups so i can restart them okay because yeah i don't even see you so i can move you to another one mm. you are supposed to be in the breakout room too with evelyn freddie and ricardo but for some reason you are here and i don't want to leave you hanging All right, guys, as you can see, you are, you are back. You're back with me. Don't worry. I'm going to open the, the rooms again. Hey, hello. Okay. All right. Accept it again, please. All right. Very good. Evelyn, can you hear me? Yeah, but I don't have the invitation. Oh, you don't have it either. Okay, give me just a moment. Let me move you to another room. All right, try again. Yeah. Did you get it? Were you able to accept it, Evelyn? Finally. She was able to do it. Now let's set the timer.
our timer set. Let me go ahead and show you the progress. Shout out to friends. And I. I think I, it's better to say, I, I wish I went. I wish I went to France. Okay. Yes, Good. maybe it's better. To visit it. Uh -huh. Visit, visit. Visit it. Visit Okay. And you, Martin? In my case, I wish I bought a big house too, like Julia. I wish to. I learned. I wish I. I wish I wish I learned another language. Good. And I wish. I visited Europe. Good job, good job. Make sure, Marcelo, to work on the wish, okay? I wish, okay, thank uh -huh. you. If you, wanna, if you wanna fix this, extend the sound. Don't say wish and cut it, but keep it for a few seconds. Wish, few seconds. wish. Okay, thank you. Okay. Say thank it, please, wish. 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 There you go, all right? You're doing good, guys, with the structure. Let me check another, another group, okay? Continue. Try to talk okay. about all of your wishes. <laughs> and how about personal wishes? For example, about materials, money, or maybe cars. Good question. I wish I could change my car. <laughs> I wish I changed my car. Ah, okay. Okay. Don't, don't worry, we'll get there, lower this, but right now is I wish plus simple past. Uh, okay. okay. But I, it, I, I, it, I it's incorrect if I use could. No, it's not incorrect. It's just a different structure. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. I don't have car, but I wish I had a pickup truck. There you go. Good example. Oh, I wish a what? I, I wish pickup. I had a pickup truck. Ah, okay. I really love Nissan MP MP three hundred. Beautiful pickup. I have seen him. Good. Yeah. All right. You, you are able to practice. Sorry. Were you all able to practice? Yes. All right. Yep. Let's go to the main room. Let's go back. Let's oh, go okay. Back. Okay. All right. So let's bring everybody back. So now I have Freddy, Lourdes, and Ricardo. While the other people come, do you guys have a question as far as this structure of I wish plus simple past? No. No. What you no. Want to no. My bad, you are mute. Is it completely clear, guys? Teacher teaches. Uh, so the difference between we say I wish with only the past, with good, and I saw different kind of uh, sentence. Yep. In we'll this case, there. in this case was the meaning we'll get there don't worry about it we'll get there okay what? <laughs> we'll get there uh -huh. we will get there ya vamos a llegar ahí. all right okay so guys here now mm -hmm. that is clear as far as i wish plus past we can also use it for the future okay and how are we gonna check it how are we gonna change it is because when you say, I wish I were on the beaches, yo desearía estar en la playa. Cuando lo deseamos, when do you want it? Like right now, en estos momentos, right? Mm -hmm. But you can also make reference to the future. For example, this one, I wish it were the weekend tomorrow. All right, how do you say, yo desearía que fuera o que fuese fin de semana mañana? I wish it were your weekend tomorrow. Tomorrow. 
I wish I were the I wish it were the weekend tomorrow. All right. So just FYI, also use it for the future. Do me a favor, mute your microphones. We're gonna continue with the video. Okay. Okay. Did you notice the use of were when using the pronoun I and it? This change also happens with he and she. This only happens in wishful thinking or hypothetical situations. Mm -hmm. We're conditional. We use wish plus past continuous to express that we want to be doing a different action in the present or the future. For example, I wish I were laying on a hammock now. I'm sitting in the office. I wish it weren't raining. It is raining. We use wish plus past perfect training. All right. So we use wish whoops. plus past perfect. There it is. Now here it is. Now the previous in the previous sentence, guys, we were talking about the things that we want in the moment. Okay. But now we can also use it this way in order for you to say or express your wishes that you want to be doing right in the moment, okay? So, how do you say, me gustaría estar acostado en una hamaca ahorita? I wish I were lying on a hammock now. Exactly. How do you say, me gustaría que no estuviese lloviendo? I wish it weren't raining. I wish it weren't raining. Okay. So, the difference is between in, in the other one. Me gustaría que no lloviera. Okay. I wish it didn't rain. And this one we use it with past continuous. About the things that you wish to be doing right now. So, the next question that we're going to have. I'm going to have I'm going to have it here. What would you wish to be doing? What would you wish to be doing? In this case, I wanted to tell me what it, what are your wishes for right now? Instead of being in the class, what would you want to be doing? do you understand the question? Yes. So, for example, I wish I were eating a big hamburger because I'm super <laughs> hungry. <laughs> I wish I were eating a big, big, big hamburger, or I wish I were grilling meat, asando carne. I, I love to grill, so I wish I were grilling meat. How do you say, me gustaría estar leyendo un libro? I wish I were reading, reading, uh, reading a book. book. Uh -huh. I wish I were reading a book. So right now, ahorita, quisiera estar haciendo un libro. Le haciendo un libro, I'm sorry. Leyendo un libro. <laughs> All right, so... Let's go back, guys, to the to the breakout rooms. Three minutes, and I wanted to tell me what would you wish to be doing right now, and explain why. For example, I wish I were um, same expression as before, right? I wish I were grilling meat because I love to grill meat. I wish I were grilling a big a big tomahawk with some chorizos, right? <laughs> a few drinks. Not non-alcoholic drinks, all right? Just mm -hmm. colita or something like that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes. Use this okay. expression. I wish plus past continuous. Use where. Okay. Accept the invite, okay. please. Go, 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 go. Invite ten. All right, fantastic. So let me join this one. All right, I'm here, guys. So what would you wish to be doing right now? I wish I were doing exercise. I wish I were doing exercise. Good. What else? I don't have enough time to do <laughs> okay. when I my work. And also, I wish I I were eating ice cream. 
I wish I were eating ice cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Why? Mm, mm, because I like um, the, the flavor and... Contradiction. No. <laughs> Doing exercise and eating ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter because I'm not in person, but I, I eat uh, ice cream, but not with, mm, with fat. Natural. I, I, like ice cream. All right. No. Uh, uh, yeah? How do you say? Without uh, milk. Okay, all right. Good, good. Uh -huh. Fantastic, all right. Ask Maribel, then Marcelo, and that was Evelyn talking, right? I wish I watching I were watching a movie. Watching, watching, watching. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. In my case, I wish I were taking a rest between the trees. Because the weather is very nice, is is it's very nice the breeze. Uh -huh. The breeze, uh huh. Uh -huh. I think I love the trees and the, the stars and see the, the see the stars. Uh -huh. okay. Take, uh, How do you say? Me gustaría think, estar bien las I wish I were uh, seeing, watching, watching. watching. Or looking at. I would, yeah, use look at. I look at, look, looking at, looking at the stars. There you go. Fantastic. Okay. Uh-huh, all right. The rest, what about Marcelo? I wish I were eating a big burrito, a, big burrito, a monster hey. burrito. A big burrito, okay, good. <laughs> okay, why? Because I like to, to eat Mexican food. Mexican food, okay. All right, good job, good job. Make sure that you say Mexican food with D, because if you say Mexican, Mexican I need to food. For a ah, okay. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Food. Mexican food. Mm. Okay. okay. All right. Uh -huh. Who's who's missing? Julia. Julia. Hello. Right. I think I think she she left for a few minutes. Okay. okay. Why don't we ask about uh, what what the answer what what was the answer of uh, Marcelo? Marcelo wish he were uh, eating a big burrito. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think. Okay, no, that's good. That's good. It was used properly. All right, guys, let's go back to the main one. Okay. Okay. Now, guys, do you have access to the chat right now? Can you see the chat already? Yes. 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 All right. Now, guys, I'm sending a couple of tongue twisters in order for you to practice the S A uh -huh. and the C H sound. Chester Cheetah chews a chunk of cheap cheddar cheese. Chester Cheetah che Chester Cheetah chews a chunk of cheap cheddar cheese. She sells she sells seashells by the seashore. All right, so let's go ahead and practice this one as homework. All right. Now okay. let's go ahead and continue with this one, guys, because there are different ways to do it. Just one moment. There we go. Mute your microphone, please. Okay. I'm sitting in the office. 
I wish it weren't raining. It is raining. We use wish plus past perfect to express a regret or that we want a situation in the past to be different. I wish I hadn't spent too much money. I spent lots of money. They wish they had stayed in Japan. They didn't stay in Japan. All right. Let me, let me see if I have more examples. To we continue. use if plus past perfect. We're going to keep it here. They wish they had stayed in Japan. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we are using this to express regret. Okay. Now, regret is when you feel sorry about something that happened in the past. Cuando ustedes se arrepienten de algo. So, how do you say, desear no haber gastado tanto dinero? I wish I hadn't spent too much money. Very good. Okay, so we're going to use the past <laughs> participle. How do you say, <laughs> ellos, ellos desean haberse quedado en Japón? They wish they had stayed in Japan. Japan. Very good. Japan. Very good. Very good. Japan. So, as Very you good. know, guys, here we are expressing regret. What is the meaning of regret? Lamento. Lamento. Lamento, arrepentimiento. All right. So, si ustedes se fijan, guys, vamos a ocupar wish, I wish, they wish, and then past participle. They didn't stay in Japan. Almost, almost, almost. So, what do you regret about, guys? How do you say, desearía haber empezado a aprender inglés antes? I wish I... Uh, I had. I had. Uh -huh. I wish I had I... learned English before. I wish I had, well, Learn. started because of Speaking. what I said. Started learning. Started. Mm -hmm. I wish I had started learning earlier. Okay. Mm, I wish, okay. Oh, no, I wish I, I had. I wish I had started learning before. Uh, Is it confusing? A little yes. bit. <laughs> I wish I had started learning English before. Okay, yes. very good. Now, listen up, guys. Pause. If you notice right here is everything. Then it's just a matter of compliment, okay? Si ustedes pueden ver, solo tenemos I wish, sujeto más el wish, luego nuevamente sujeto, luego had, y luego el past participle. Lo demás es complemento. All right. How do you say desear a haber empezado a las cinco? I wish I had a star. At five o'clock or at five p.m. So if you notice, it's the same, the same thing. I wish I had. Me gustaría haber comprado. Me gustaría haber comprado la... Wish I had bought. So, I wish I had... I wish I I wish I had purchased a lot of gifts for for my family or something okay. like that. Purchased, bought, oops, bought, etc. Okay. Me gustaría, mm, me gustaría haberla besado. I, I wish I had kissed her. Kiss, I have kissed her. Kiss. Or him, right? Kiss. So if you notice guys, we start repeating the pattern. Empezamos a repetir el patrón. I wish I had an any verb in past participle. 
Okay. Is it clear, guys? Because I see you all confused. Me gustaría haberme bañado. I wish I had took a shower. Taken. 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 <laughs> Very good. Um, me gustaría haberme cepillado los dientes. I wish I, wish I had, had brushed brush brush my teeth. I wish I had brushed my teeth. So, si my se el, el, el patrón, lo digo en español para que quede un poquito claro, porque se ve confuso, guys, pero la verdad es nada más que identifiquemos el patrón, lo que se empieza a repetir. All right? I wish I had brushed y el complemento, right? El verbo en pasado participio. How do you say, um, me gustaría, me gustara, me gustaría haber saltado en la cama? I wish I had jumped. Jump, jump. jump. Uh -huh. on, in the bed. bed. In or on the bed? On, on the, the bed. bed. The bed. On the bed. Very good. Me gustaría haber desayunado. I wish I had. I didn't. I had eaten. Breakfast. Breakfast? Mm -hmm. Eden. Eden I breakfast. Wish I had had breakfast. Oh. I wish I had had. I had, I had, I had, 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 had. had breakfast. Mm -hmm. oh. wow. Why? Because if this confusing. Had had. Exactly. It's a little confusing. Yes and yes. no. ¿Por qué no? Parece confus, confus, confus. Confusion. There you go. I, I mix Spanish and English. Confusion. Confusion. It looks confusing, guys, because you have this is the auxiliary and this is the main verb. Okay? Mm. To have breakfast is desayunar, right? What is the past participle of had? Of have. Had. So, I wish I had had breakfast. Simple as that. Suena medio tartamudo, but that's the way it is. Okay? So, guys. Is it clearer right now? Está más claro este? Yeah. Yep. All right. So, guys, let's go ahead and talk about your regrets. All right. Talk about your regrets. You're going to have three minutes. Try to go ahead and use this structure. I wish I had the verb in the past participle and the complement. Okay. Any questions? Mm, no. All right, let's go to the practice. Accept the invite, please. I can't see the invite, teacher. Who's this? Ricardo? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I already sent it to you. Let me change it to another room. Okay. Did you get it now? Okay. Yeah, I see now. Thanks. All right, go ahead. Julia? Well, I think Julia is away. I'm her set. My first regret is I wish I hadn't gained weight. <laughs> okay. Welcome to my life, brother. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Oh, I wish I hadn't gain weight ah. <laughs> all right okay. very good i hadn't gained weight correct okay, okay. uh-huh you regret robert my regret is i wish i had used my time better when i was in when I was at the university. Say it again, please. I wish. I wish I had used my time better when I was at the university. Good, good example, good example. I wish I had... I had had more imagination. There you go. <laughs> I wish I have, I had had more imagination. Mm -hmm. 
Uh huh. What else? I know that you have more regrets. I have a lot, but it's about you talking, not me. I wish I had studied another career. Studied. 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 Uh -huh. Studied another career. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Come on, guys. I wish I had woke up earlier today. I had, uh huh. Woke up. Woke up earlier today. Okay, very good. Anybody else? <laughs> problem with my internet um don't worry don't worry guys let's go ahead and go back to the main one okay to the main room all right so we're gonna be getting the people back again in the meantime guys i know that this topic is a little bit perhaps not complicated but confusing do you feel it confusing? A little bit. Okay, very good. When you when you want to translate uh, uh, the statement in Spanish, mm -hmm. it's a little confusing. But the role. Okay. Good. Now listen up, guys. Um, this is my recommendation for you. If you try to translate, <clears throat> that's gonna happen. It's a it's a, a problem translating. So I know it sounds difficult, but we have to be willing to unlearn. The opposite of learn, right? Desaprender. We are too mm. used to Spanish, and when it comes to English, all we have to do is repeat and try to understand, not translate. I, I teacher I had a teacher and he said in Spanish el inglés nunca se traduce el inglés se interpreta there you go and that's good that's good because a lot of literal things are going to be the same in English and in Spanish okay now um, I know that we barely have time we only have a, few, a couple of minutes and Maribel was asking me about this if she had gone to the university she could have studied French this is another, it's another way of you expressing regret, but let me tell you that this is nothing more than third conditional. Okay, simple as that. Third conditional. Ah, uh, the first conditional. Third. Yeah. It's gonna be third conditional. So okay. she had gone third. to the university. The third. No, no, Sorry? Okay. No, the third conditional is. Third conditional, correct. Okay. All right, so keep an eye on this one um, and get the structure. If plus past participle, comma, as you can see here, could have past participle complement. If she had gone to the university, she could have studied French. If I had studied, I could have gotten a better score in the test. All right. If I had traveled to the United States, I could have gotten deported. All right. So with this one, I would recommend you to pay close attention to third conditional and you'll be fine. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Now, I have been assigning <coughs> and not all of you are, well, as a matter of fact, I haven't seen any homework. I really hope that even though you don't send the homework, you're doing it because it's for your own good. We see a topic every day and you gotta practice, you gotta write, you gotta create sentences so you can learn, okay? 
All right, guys. Now, before I leave, is there something else that I can help you with? Yes, I have a question regarding to the midterm test. Uh -huh. I was putting uh, in some of the answers exactly the same. Well, I, I have just like reorganized everything. Reorganized? Yeah. Reorganized everything and, and leave it just like uh, you thought us mm -hmm. and just as the platform uh, mentioned it to do it, how to do it. And it's always giving me a bad answer. A bad answer. Bad answer. All right. My recommendation will be for you to post it in the group. Okay. Uh, type the one, type the exactly the exercise you're doing, the answer you're typing, perhaps is giving issues, or there's something there that we haven't seen and someone else okay. had. So you guys okay. can share. It's not about okay. cheating, it's about helping you um, do yeah. it. I have the same problem. Yes, I know. In the middle term. In the midterm. The, 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 that kind of exercise that you have to rewrite all the, the sentences. I kind of I kind of saw something. I kind of about it. My recommendation, guys, is um, add yourself if you want. Create groups and try to do it together. I mean, okay. Like the same way that you're doing right now, because I have a class exactly in like five seconds. <laughs> I have another class mm -hmm. right now. So okay. I can't stay that much, but do that. Add yourself to the WhatsApp group, create a small group, and help each other, or do it in the same platform of the academy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Now, have a nice night. And Thank we'll you. Check it Thank you. Have a nice Thank night. You. Take care. Thank Good you. Night. Take care. Part of English. See you next time. Good night. Take care. Good night.